We use support workers as a pivotal part of our therapy service. So band four therapy roles have been developed within the surgical team to help support the registered workforce. On the ward, they'd be the main point of contact for the nursing staff. They can do referrals, they can have discharge discussions with family and some other MDT members, auscultate and take observations, they do stair assessments. By providing them with that autonomy, they thrive on having that responsibility. I absolutely love working with the patients here. In my role, I run the exercise class every morning, the get up and go class, and also see patients one to one. I like working in this way because it gives some autonomy in our practice and we also get to then progress patients on and make a real difference to their lives. I have my own caseload, so I will see new patients from triage. I will also see follow-up patients for rehab classes on one-to-one -one basis. We are freeing up some of the higher banding staff so that they can actually see the more complex patients and by me being able to take some of that other work away from means that actually we're seeing more people in a more timely fashion. I'm being developed myself but I'm also able to give back to my patients and that's really important. Support workers add huge value not only to the team but also to patient care. As long as they're safe, as long as you've got competency framework wrapped around them, not only does it help the waiting list because obviously patients can be seen more timely but it definitely keeps the wheel turning. They're multifaceted really on their skill mix. As a service having a range of appropriately qualified staff is really important to us. We just keep trying to give our support workers the opportunities to grow and develop. Our support worker Bev has a registered accredited exercise instructor qualification when they are appropriately trained and have the right qualifications to deliver the rehabilitation and develop that rapport with the patients, it's just a key part of our, our service. We just couldn't work without them. The pandemic has been very busy, very changeable, quite stressful at times. The contribution of support workers actually, it actually makes me quite emotional because they have been vital to the response and to supporting these patients, you know, right from sitting with somebody while they sadly passed away up to being the one that walked them out the door when they've been discharged home safely. If they're given the skills and the facility and the support, then they can do massive things. The support worker's role is always changing, always evolving. Um, I think what the pandemic has shown is that all support workers have got backgrounds in other aspects. We may specialise in one area, but we can also adapt into another. And the support worker's role has stepped up a good few notches during this time. Support workers have been really invaluable during the pandemic and to be honest I think they've really shown their flexibility in the way that they can work. I've been working alongside support workers who are normally on the ward and they've been fantastic but the way that the support workers have moved out into the community has also shown such a huge amount of transferable skills that they have. The flexibility they've shown is really something that we're needing as we move towards rehabilitation in the future. Because of the situation, we have to be adaptable. We go to patients' homes and do their rehabilitation tasks, part of which will be physiotherapy. Despite of all the challenges, we just bear in mind that we're making a difference. Faye is a band four support worker working within physiotherapy. She has helped do the triage on the wards, sorting out who needs seeing and, and how urgent then patients are to be seen. She's helped Buddy with nurse staff on the wards and on ITU and also the physiotherapy workforce. What it has done is enabled the patients to be seen several times a day, just opposed to once a day. I'd say 90% of the patients that we rehabbed actually walked out of this hospital and I don't think the outcome would have been as good without the support workers. The spotlight's really going to shift into community rehabilitation, so I think we really need to focus now on 
developing and expanding and facilitating support worker roles within the community in order for us to be able to get through all the patients that are going to need our input.